Hey guys, my name's Plev and in this DCS F4E tutorial, we're going to be describing how to use dive toss and dive laydown from the Wizzo seat to accurately deliver unguided munitions. In dive toss mode, the pilot is going to dive to visually acquire the target, placing the pipper over the target so that the Wizzo can utilize the radar to essentially lock the ground the pilot will initiate a pullout maneuver and the bomb will automatically release at the correct point in time. In DL mode, or dive laydown, the pilot will do much the same, placing the pipper over the target, waiting for the wizard to acquire a lock. However, the pilot will then fly straight and level until the weapon is released. On your radar control panel, Go ahead and make sure that your range is set to 10 or 5 nautical miles and set your radar mode to air to ground. Press right control B to bring up your bombing calculator. You're going to enter your desired mode of delivery, in this case DT for dive toss. We're going to enter the desired type of bomb, in this case Mark 82s. Our desired running speed of 450 knots, our desired release altitude of 3000 feet, uh, our target altitude, in this case, since it's a coastal target, is zero feet. Our desired dive angle of 30 degrees, and that will give us a drag coefficient of 1.02. Coming down to the right to the WRCS panel, we're going to go ahead and enter our drag coefficient with this knob, and if we desire, we would enter our release advance. You can ignore this bit knob down here on the bottom right. Go ahead and lower your receiver gain just so that any uh, clutter is barely showing up on your display. Here we are in active pause. We've got the pipper over the target and at this point the pilot would call nose on. As the Wizzo, you're going to go ahead and lower your gain until you only see a little block representing the ground. Now, out of active pause, this block will be rapidly approaching you. We're going to go ahead and place the cursor over it. I like to intercept it from the bottom up so that I kind of catch it as it falls. I'm going to full action to acquire a lock. If I want to drop the lock, I can half action. And if I want to lock it again, I can full action. Once I unpause here, we're going to go ahead and follow the guidance of the pipper to initiate our pullout uh, while holding pickle and the weapons should release at the appropriate time. There we go, weapons away. Beautiful. All right, folks. My name's Plev. Thanks for watching this DCS F4E tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if I've helped you out. Plev out.